All right, here we go. This is January 1939 of Operation Torchlight. This will be the USA and KMT turn. Um, the Italians haven't actually taken their turn yet, but um, the veteran did say what he was going to do, and that's just that he was going to spend uh, ten or sorry, seven out of his ten bucks to buy a transport, save the other three, and collect his ten, so he'll have thirteen for the next turn. And then he was going to, I assume he'll probably place that transport right on his fleet over here in C-Zone 50. So I'm just going to drop a transport on that fleet marker. Uh, the only other thing he, I guess he'll need to do is he will need to, he said there's no moves or anything, but he will need to do his, oh gosh, his tech roll, which I assume is going to be uh, improved construction since that's, since that's what he's working on. But I'll let him do that on his Germany turn or whatever he wants to do. But, all right, let's start with the USA and KMT. So, uh, money first, and then tech rolls. So, the USA, they have uh, 23 bucks. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3. They're actually going to send all $23 to Russia because uh, before the Russian turn on our chat, uh, the veteran already declared war on Russia. So Russia has gone straight up to 46 IPP, meaning it can lend least half, which is 23, which is exactly what the U.S. has. And they're going to send all of it. And uh, if we look at the if we look at the map over here, there are no Russian subs or sorry German subs on the shortest lend lease pass. Will be because we're going to send it all in up through here to what is that uh, Cola. So we're going to come all the way up here this way and send it up there and not hit any subs. So 23 bucks straight to the Russian coffers. And of course they have uh, the ability to buy all their land units for one IPP less on their turn. So they have, they're going to add that to their 23 they already have. Now they have 46 to spend. Uh, all right, let's do some tech rolls. The USA, they'll just continue all the stuff that they were already working on. I think you can see that. So, first off, they're on jet fighters. They've already got stage one. They're going for stage two. They need an eight or higher. They got a one. That's a miserable fail. Next, they're going to go for advanced submarines. They're already on stage one. They need an eight or higher for stage two. That's another one, and I'm getting rid of that guy. Take a blue one. Um, next they're going to go for improved construction. They're on stage one. They need a seven or higher to get stage two. That's a four. Oh my gosh. Uh, heavy battleships. They don't have anything yet. So, uh, seven or higher for stage one. One. Oh my, what the heck. New die. And last one is heavy carriers. Eight or higher for stage two. Eight. There we go. So look at that. We got one out of five. It's like my, my rolls for tech just stunk. Anyways, um, I should probably say what the KMT is buying. They have eight bucks and they're gonna buy one militia and two infantry. And those are all going to Quang Tung, which apparently I kept saying Kui Chao last video. Uh, the one that's right next to Hong Kong, that one. How about that? All right, I uh, can't move anything for the U.S., but we certainly can move stuff for the KMT, and we're going to. So let's declare some attacks. Uh, we have two attacks. The first one is uh, we, this Marine that was so kindly lend lease to us from the, uh, oh gosh, uh, from the FEC. You know, actually, Anzac, I think, sent it. Uh, he is going to amphibiously assault across the narrow crossing and take back the island of Hainan. So let's get a KMT marker on that. Put the Marine down on top of it. And the KMT is going to go up by one and the Japanese are going to go down by one. So KMT will now be at eight and the Japanese will go down to 32. Next, we're going to move in heavily on the city of Nanking. So there's a, a militia and an artillery that are defending. I'm just gonna take them right off because there's not a lot of space there. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take off the marker too because 
it's probably not going to be able to stay. So we're moving in. I'm leaving a cavalry and an infantry uh, over here in Shangtung. But I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine infantry from Shantung. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight infantry, an artillery, and an AA gun from Hunan. So that's nine plus eight is 17 infantry, an artillery, and an AA gun. So the artillery will get his first strike. Let's go over to do some rolling because that was all the combat moves. All right, go over to the, the box. Uh, Nanking is a city, so I'll just put the defenders on here that uh, they're, let's see. <sighs> Defender. Militia over here will get plus one to a three. The infantry at a four will get plus one to a five. Uh, and then we'll start with our first strike. That is a, uh, yeah, there's no, no other territory other than the, um, the city. So, first strike for the artillery at three or less. That's an eight. I should have picked up the black dice. Those were awesome. Uh, then we'll take the... So, that's a miss. Uh, then we'll take the infantry. Let's see. So, I've got one infantry that's boosted to a three. And... Looks like the rest are just going to be at their normal two. So, we'll do the three first that's a miss and now we've got what did we say nine plus eight is 17 infantry one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen seventeen nine dice need two hits at two or less and there's a two and another two. So we're good to go. Those guys are taken out. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll take the militia as a yellow die and we'll take the infantry as, uh, why not, a green die. And let them shoot back. So we need a three on the yellow and a five on the green. And we got the three on the yellow and a, no, sorry. Got the six on the yellow, so that's a miss, but three on the green, so that's a hit. So we'll lose one infantry. And these guys are dead. Uh, that also means that Japan is going to go down two to 30, and KMT is going to go up two to 10. All right. So we'll come over here. We'll take one infantry actually we'll just take the one infantry off the top of the stack and then stack them up oh man like that there come and get me all right Next, uh, let's do some non-combat. So, the cavalry and the one infantry that I left in Shantung, the cavalry will move 1-2 up to Suyon, and the infantry will rail to Suyon. The fighter, which I'm calling the Flying Tigers, even though technically the actual Flying Tigers are an expansion, I can still unleash the, uh, a fighter to uh, the KMT because it was produced by the U.S. That's going to fly up there to Suyon as well. So that's looking pretty strong with, what, like 24 units there now? Uh, lastly, I got this one infantry that's over here in Yunnan. He's going to move down to the coast into, make sure I get it right, Shangtung. Or no, Kwangtung, sorry, Kwangtung. The one next to Hong Kong. 
All right, that's all of those moves. Don't think I can make any more moves. Can't move the US guys anyways. And I can't make any more moves with anything else. Um, yeah. Uh, actually, one thing I will do is I'm going to take the U.S., their uh, tactical bomber that's out here in San Francisco, and he's going to fly all the way around the world or just across the United States, depending on your perspective. And he's going to fly over here, I believe. Yeah, there's an air base there in New York. He'll go to that air base in New York. All right. Uh, place units. All three of my units are going to go into Quang Tung, the one next to Hong Kong. And uh, I'll have to chip that out later. But now there's three infantry, a mountain infantry, and one, two, three, four five uh, militia there. Okay. Got my green there, good. All right. So, what else are we gonna do? That's it. Uh, collect money is what I'm gonna do. So, with that uh, declaration of war, I should have uh, I should have double checked before I recorded, but I do believe that declaration of war on Russia gave uh, an increase of um, some money. Germany declares war on USSR plus five to the U.S. So the five, so U.S. is not at 23, they are at 28 on the production. Let me throw it up there so you can see. All right, so the U.S. will collect a cool 28 bucks. 25, 6, 7, 8. And the KMT will collect 10 bucks for their use uh, next turn. All right, uh, I don't think there's any recruitment rolls or anything else like that that I'm forgetting, so hopefully that is all. And I will take that as uh, the US and KMT turn. Uh, next, we will um, turn it over to the veteran if he wants to go back and do his uh, Italian turn, which he hasn't uh, done yet, but I, like I said, I pretty much did everything but his tech roll. Uh, and then he'll be on to July 1939 for his German turn. All right, that's it, and good luck to you. Appreciate all those that are watching.